Hello and welcome to another set of readings of Lotus Love Tarot 555. All right, you guys, I am here to do the love forecast readings for March 2020. Um, just so glad we are finally past that Mercury retrograde. Oh my goodness. Whew, that was, uh, I don't know about you, but that was a very heavy one for me. All right, so today, um, like I said, we'll get into our love forecast. Thank you, thank you, thank you for all of your love and support that you continue to give the channel. Thank you for those who continue to, to make um, the very positive comments. I read them all, and I just want to thank you for taking the time to do that. Um, just a little bit about the reading that's about to come up. Remember, you can apply this to your sun, your moon, your rising, and for some, even your Venus sign. Please be mindful that the messages can flip-flop. So if it doesn't relate to you, it could relate to your partner. Uh, hello to our cross-watchers out there. Also, keep in mind that there's no time limit to these readings. It could have happened three months ago, could happen today, could be happening in the near future. Don't forget to uh, follow us on Instagram at Lotus Love Tarot 555 don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Um, please like the readings if you like the readings. Even if it doesn't resonate with you and you think it may be beneficial to someone else, get, hit that like button and that allows it, the reading to go out a little further, okay? And the subscribe button is right next to that. So again, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Um, be mindful that we do have a Patreon membership now where you will have access to all of our extendeds. Today's reading will have an extended version to it. And don't forget that we do uh, do private readings and information pertaining to that can be found below. All right, you guys, I think that is all. These are all the decks that we'll be using today. Now, on to your reading. Hello, my Scorpios. Okay, you guys, let's get right into your reading. And I was looking back at your reading from February, and you were in a situation that you really needed to walk away from, okay? So let's just see where you are now, what's going on. I will do an extended version on this as well, and information pertaining to that can be found below. Holy Spirit, Divine Creator, Universe, what messages need to go forth for the sign of Scorpio? as it relates to the love forecast for March 2020. Messages, okay. Okay, by the spirit, the divine creator of the universe, what messages need to go forth for the time of Scorpio as it relates to the love forecast for March 2020. Holy Spirit, Divine Creator of the Universe, what messages need to go forth for the sign of Scorpio as it relates to the love forecast for March 2020. What messages need to go forth for the sign of Scorpio? Of the universe, what messages need to go forth for the sign of Scorpio as it relates to the love forecast for March 2020? What messages need to go forth? Wow, Scorpio, your cards are really like coming out quickly. Okay, Holy Spirit, Divine Creator, the universe, what messages need to go forth for the sign of Scorpio? as it relates to the love forecast for March 2020. What messages need to go forth for the sign of Scorpio? Okay, all right, let's see what's going on. True love. This is the romance of a lifetime, so you definitely could be dealing with a true love situation here, and you are getting to know each other. As you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. 
All right, so let's just see where this is going. I don't want to talk too soon that all is in happy land because you never know. Spirit is saying, watch your thoughts, okay? It's important to only think about what you desire and not what, you're, what you fear. So it feels like the situation that you're in right now, you feel like this is a true love, you all are getting to know one another, but you're having to watch your thoughts probably from past experiences you're afraid. You're afraid to really dive in deep. So Spirit is saying, watch your thoughts. Have some self-respect, okay? So continue to respect your boundaries. Continue to respect, you know, um, what, what lines that you've drawn for yourself that you won't cross. Have self-respect as you're going through this. And keep your eyes on your target and intentions. What do you really want, okay? What do you really want from the relationship? What do you really want for yourself? Wow, this card has come out. Um, I think it just came out for Libra, but it came out in other readings as well. Spend time with flowers and flower essences to increase your personal healing powers. When you get this flower power card, this may this is spirit saying, "I need you to I need to speak to you. I need to clear your, I want you to clear your mind out." And you generally find this in nature. Okay, so going out into nature, um, by a lake, by a beach, in a forest, by flowers. But spirit is saying you need to clear your mind out. That's what this card means. You need to clear anything out from the past that you're holding on to. And spirit is saying don't stop. So whatever path that you're on and trying to really get it together, get yourself together. Spirit is saying don't stop. Okay? But those are just our jumpstart messages. Let's look a little further to get some clarifying messages on where we're going and what's really going on. Okay? Okay, Holy Spirit, divine creator, the universal messages need to go forth for the sign of Scorpio as it relates to the love forecast for March 2020. What messages need to go forth for the sign of Scorpio? Okay. What do our Scorpios need to know? Oh, wow. We got cards just dropping everywhere. Okay. Okay, my Scorpios, you have the Six of Pentacles, the Seven of Cups, the Ace of Swords, the Knight of Swords in reverse, and your overarching energy is the Knight of Cups. Uh, you do have an angel number that's coming through for you. You have the seven of swords here, and then you have the six and the ace. That's seven as well. So you have seven, seven coming through for you. So make sure you look up that um, angel number that's coming for. Also, oh, you actually have seven cards up here too. So definitely seven, seven, seven. Make sure you look up that, that angel code that's coming through. Uh, with the pentacles here, this could be Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Could be dealing with the Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Or an Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra. Just know they could be any sign. They could just be taking on the energy of that sign. So it's very, very important that we um, we understand that. But you've got a lot of cups and a lot of uh, sword energy that's coming forth. Okay? All right. So with the Six of Cups, this is somebody who's really wanting to give um, help or, or, or needing help. Okay? Um, this is coming from a, space, a place of generosity. Okay? So I'm feeling like you really need to work on understanding that coming from the right place, a generous heart of giving and being able to receive. But I feel like this is surrounding love. Okay. So this being coupled with the seven of cups, this, this means this is commitment issues here. So I feel like you're having a hard time giving or receiving um, a commitment or you're scared of that. Okay. Um, because with the Seven of Cups, it could, it could mean too many choices, but it also could mean commitment issues. You got so many, you, don't, you can't commit, okay? Even though your heart might be generous and want to give or receive it, but this is an issue. And so with the Ace of Swords, this is really trying to get clarity, get mental clarity with this uh, issue here of commitment. You know, really, really trying to understand um, Ace of Swords could represent a new ideas too. So this could be something new with you with this true love or this person that you're, you're getting to know, um, having to watch your thoughts because I feel like you're slipping into a place that, um, 
is, um, I don't want to say getting you depressed, but you're very on guard. You're extremely on guard. And then with the Knight of Swords in reverse, okay, this is somebody who kind of, they don't have any direction right now. They're kind of unpredictable. Um, you know, don't really have any, any regard for consequences that may come up. So I think in this instance, you you're, don't have regard for consequences because you may be thinking a certain way, okay, or, or behave in a certain way, and it's kind of causing you to get off, off basis with this true love and this person that you're needing to um, get to know. Um, because I feel like, again, past experiences are coming in. So you're trying to work through that. You're trying to think through that right now. And um, how to deal with these commitment issues. And how to learn how to give and receive love. Right? And your overarching energy is the Knight of Cups in reverse. So, again, this is having emotional blocks. This is moody. Uh, somebody being um, could be disappointed. So I feel like the past, again, is trying to creep in to your, your present. And it's kind of blocking what needs to go on with this, this person here, okay, um, that you're getting to know that you uh, could be a true love for you. I feel like you're having a really, really hard time making that transition from the past to the present. And so you're going to have to keep your eyes on your target and attention. You're going to have to have some self-respect for yourself, right? And, um, and just really, you cannot stop the work that you need to do to um, get into this. Okay, so we're going to go into the extended and uh, we're going to definitely, yeah, we're going to clarify, you know, some places that you are now, oh my, okay, and um, and also to give you some, some much needed advice on how you need to get through this. We're going to give advice from the Lover's Oracle, okay, and um, we're going to see where this goes for you, Scorpios. Okay, information pertaining to the extended, all of that information can be found um, below. And uh, just meet me on the other side. All right.